Hi Pisces, this is going to be your reading for the month of March 2024. This is for Pisces placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So what does Pisces need to know for the month of March 2024? I don't know why my hands are so dry. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have threshold, beginning, leap, and passion. Okay. So that's the cardinal seasons and signs, Aries, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, and Libra. So you could be starting something. There could be a leap of faith or a new beginning that's happening in one of these seasons. It could be Aries season. It could have happened in or started in um, Capricorn season, or it could be happening during Cancer season or Libra season of this year. What else? Their inner child, innocence, play, reparenting. Who else got that? Virgo. You can have Virgo in your chart. Virgo is your sister sign. Definitely go watch Virgo's reading with us. Sheesh. All right, too many. Perspective cancer just happened. I don't like how that flew out. One more. Oh my gosh, I hate how hard it is to shuffle these cards. The material. What else with high seed? Come on. Communication, connection. So the heart chakra, the throat chakra. Nurturer, the Builder, Capricorn, Taurus, Energy. You can have Capricorn or Taurus in your chart. Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or you could be a Capricorn or a Taurus with Pisces, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Just one. Okay, oneness. Crown Chakra, Self-Realization, Faith, can do it. And we got Virgo here again the healer improvement purity and order so something y'all could be healing something on your sacral if you have like a surgery or some type of emotional trauma or emotional upset so you may need to bring some awareness and attention to your sacral our sacral is where we store our emotions so you may want to do some hip opening some yin yoga uh, work with the color orange. Do some inner child play. Yeah. Let's see. So let's read the threshold. Number 20. Beginning, leap, and passion. The gate is now open. This is the beginning of the next stage of our evolution. Fear and uncertainty may cloud our vision, but it had but it was open for a reason. We are finally ready for it. The light of our passion illuminates our way. The trust on the universal love will ensure our success. Message. That suit that you are wearing has become too tight for you. Your soul is willing to cross the threshold towards the next chapter of your journey. You will enter you will enter innocent and unexpect and unexperienced. You will enter innocent and unexperienced. You will come out as a higher version of yourself. This is the beginning of a phase of great evolution and growth. Let your doubts aside. You are ready for this. Ooh, so I, I, Pisces, y'all are stepping into like a different timeline or something. What are y'all doing? I like it. 
I like it. Mm-hmm. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. <laughs> This is a rite of passage, an initiation. Once you are in, there is no way back. It won't be a bed of roses, but the adventure will reward you with independence, empowerment, and control over your destiny. Mm -hmm. It's part of your purpose, so don't doubt and take a leap. Connect with your passion and courage within you. You are stronger and more capable than you think you are. You are a visionary. You will get to the other side and get exactly what you need. And don't worry if you feel lost inside there. You just have to look up at the night sky and seek your north star, your purpose. It will always be your guide. It will always be your it will always be your guide. Pisces, some of y'all could be you could be a different sign and you can have like a Pisces. Some of y'all are watching, you have a Pisces North Node or Pisces, you can have like a Virgo North Node. Look for your North Node sign and look where it's at in your birth chart. It's something about your North Node, Pisces. That's why it's good to know what time you were born. It's good to know these placements action take the leap follow your passion and curiosity embrace change and be open to new opportunities coming your way fight for your vision find and follow your purpose affirmation i open the path for a collective evolution i have everything i need to begin a new journey the leap of faith is my start of change i like it child this is something that you've been wanting to do for some of y'all for years or decades Mm, 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 mm. Okay, what's the rest hold for Pisces placements for the month of March 2024? Okay, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Some of y'all could have a moon in Sag, or you can have Sag placements, or you could be a Sag with the Pisces North Node, or a Pisces moon rising or Venus or something. Um... This is about divine timing, divine intervention, divine protection. Something which something could have happened recently, Pisces, and you felt like it happened to you, but it was actually happening for you. It was to get you guys back on path or to keep y'all on path here or get you on there. What's the threshold? The death in reverse, Scorpio energy. So a lot of y'all could be scared. You could be running from this change. It's only a matter of time. Y'all gonna have to enter this either willingly or be forced into it. And you don't want spirit to force you into change. It's better if you just initiate it. Trust me. Death in reverse Scorpio energy. Some of y'all can have Scorpio in your chart, moon rising or Venus. You could be a Scorpio with Pisces placements or you're dealing with somebody that does. Yeah, somebody's resisting change. What's temperance? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody is like trying to buy time or y'all are trying to be in two different worlds. You can't serve two masters. Either you're fully, either you're taking the risk and taking the leap of faith into the new one or you're going to be stuck in the old. Somebody's trying to have one foot in the old, one foot in the new. You got to go all in. Eight of Cups in reverse. Saturn and Pisces. You know... A lot of y'all are faking your happiness. You're thinking, okay, if I just give it more time, you know, it will get better. I'll feel better. Y'all are trying to give something time that's past this expiration date. <laughs> that and it's in some area of your life. For some of y'all, it's a relationship. It could be something to do with like work, your career, your business, your health, parts of yourself, family dynamics, friend dynamics, whatever it is. You know what it is. Eight of Cups in the verse. Yeah, the hangman. This is you, Pisces. It's time to surrender. It's time to let something go. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. For those of you, this is in regards to love. You could be, this could be in regards to like romantic, platonic, even business partnerships. It's on the other side of whatever this doorway is. Whatever, whatever. Y'all need to just walk through this passageway and you get where you will be getting what you want. The career you want, the love you want, the friendships you want. With the happiness you want, the health. 
some y'all need to let some y'all could be also holding a grudge you need to let go and surrender so you can step into this some y'all y'all can't step into whatever this portal is with carrying old baggage y'all gotta leave y'all gotta let some shit go everything can't everything and everyone can't come what's the hangman queen of wands aries leo sag march pisces march aries some of y'all could be changing something up about your look. This could be your hair, your wardrobe. Some of y'all about to go through a glow up. Once you step through this leap, this is just some of y'all are following your passions. You're feeling really confident, brave. The more I'm telling you, the more change, the more changes you make, the better you're gonna look. The more every everything is just you're gonna be glowing. What's this Queen of Wands? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Y'all know what y'all want to do. Y'all know who y'all want to be, where y'all want to go. And you know what's required. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, September, Virgo, September, Libra. You know what's required. You have the discernment. You have the creativity. You have the knowledge. You have the wisdom. You know what you need to do, Pisces. And you have the vision. Y'all, For a lot of y'all, it's just this fear of change. Really? What's the death in reverse? We ain't going to spend too much time on that yeah the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio october libra october scorpio yeah something has y'all in y'all feelings or a person or y'all could be feeling really emotional at this time about these changes they're happening for you anyway some of y'all have a spirit guide or somebody who's passed on it could be a father figure a grandfather an uncle or it could just be a, a guy who is going to be who's not going to leave you you're not going to be on this by yourself a lot of y'all are scared about what's, un, you know, about the uncharted territory, but you're not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone. What's this King of Cups? <laughs> yeah, the tower. Aries, Scorpio, wanted to come out in reverse. Somebody's trying to avoid the inevitable. The only thing you can do to brace for this impact is keep your feelings, keep keep your feelings and your keep your emotions grounded. Some of y'all are being uprooted. Four of Wands, Venus and Aries. Somebody could be moving out, maybe even losing a home. I'm also getting somebody getting cleared about getting approved or cleared for one, a new one. Some of y'all have outgrown your current environment. Somebody could be moving out, moving in. Some of y'all could be um visiting family for the holidays or for a birthday or something like that. What's this tower in reverse? <laughs> yeah, child. Eight of wands. <laughs> Brace for impact. <laughs> Mercury and Aquarius. Mercury and Aries. I mean, somebody could have a Mercury and Aries, but Mercury or Mercury and Aquarius. But this is Mercury and Sag. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna have to brace for impact. That's the only thing you can do. Y'all gonna have to get out this comfort zone, get out y'all heads. Y'all gonna have to just brace for impact. I'm sorry. I'm trying to prepare y'all so y'all won't be caught off guard. Some of y'all guys, a lot of things is happening. Somebody could be taking action and getting a divorce, a breakup, leaving a job, a friendship, certain family, maybe addictions and habits. The eight of wands could be travel. This could be also something happening overnight. I'm also getting a lot of you guys are getting a lot of intuitive downloads at this time. Like you listening to your intuition, your intuition has been telling you to do something, go somewhere or make a move for a while. And it's going to help you avoid a disaster if you do it. And if you choose not to, then you will have to deal with whatever this tower is regardless. And it's going to be really hectic. If y'all don't, if y'all don't do it yourselves, some of y'all are already past the expiration date. The spirit is, is about to just push y'all. Y'all about to be pushed into something. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. This could be a lack of enthusiasm, delays, a false start. Y'all are being like, really, y'all are like, what's this? Somebody here could be into same sex. Okay, what's the Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Cups. Some of y'all want to do something creative. A lot of y'all are not listening to your creative nudges. Like, you know, what, like I said, you know what you want to do. A lot of y'all could be into makeup, home stuff, uh, clothing. Somebody here can have a really nice voice. Somebody could be into music. 
some of y'all just really artsy, really creative. Listen to your inner voice. There's something also about your inner child. What's this Ace of Wands in reverse? Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Leo energy, August Virgo, August Leo. So something could be losing momentum. You could be losing momentum, losing passion for something. And maybe it's because you took too long or when you, I don't know if you, there could have, you know, when you, you didn't jump, when you, you know, you didn't do something when you felt the spark or the initiation to do it. For some of y'all, something is slowing, something is losing momentum. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe you, you're you not, something's not getting as much traction anymore. Or if this is a business that you're in. Maybe it's oversaturated. I don't know. But for those, you're going to have to create your own luck. Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. You're going to have to... Luck is prep, when preparation meets opportunity. You're going to have to start getting things ready. You're going to have to be a bit more methodical. Or you're going to have to really... You know, it's going to be a lot coming your way. You're going to have to really try to find a way to balance everything out. The Knight of Pentacles is a very methodical energy very strategic slow and steady win the race it's it, the, the eight of wands and the knight of pentacles are very contradicting <laughs> i think y'all need to just go into y'all need to just dive into something and the more you create the more you take initiative the more you have the resources the people and and things available to you to make something happen for a lot of you guys it's about like a business What's the inner child here? When you look back at your, we got inner child, innocence, play, reparenting. When you look back at your childhood, what do you see? Our parents' mistakes were a reflection of their journey, not our worth. Now we are in control of our destiny. Now is our chance to reconsider our perspective and our purpose with critical thinking. Who said life had to be boring and serious? When did we forget how to have fun? So some of y'all could be a bit rigid, the Knight of Pentacles could be a bit frugal. So y'all could be being a bit frugal with your finances or just being a bit like serious. You know what I'm saying? Like there could be a lot of changes, a lot of things that's happening for you guys. You may have people that depend on you, that need you. So, you know, it's it's a lot. There could be information overload for some of y'all. You know, there's a lot that you may have to process, especially emotionally about something or a situation or someone. So take your time. Don't dismiss something and don't react so impulsively. Just take your time, you know, and like, you know, look at something, look at something closely. Like, take a really good look at something and really see what you're feeling. Message. Inside your chest, there is a little child wanting to be nurtured, taken care of, and unconditionally loved. It's a reflection of your inner child and it carries its innocence, its joy, and its imagination. But it may carry emotional wounds too. A lot of y'all need to look at your sacral chakra. Okay, research it. When we come into it's governed by the color orange. So if you don't so if you don't know how to spell sacral, just Google orange chakra. This is how you spell chakra. C-H-A-K-R-A. -A. Sacral is S-A-C-R-A-L. Okay? When we come into this world, we, come, we came free from judgments with, and with an open heart. But as we grew up, we learned how to protect ourselves from the dangers of our environment. We limited the patterns of our caretakers. We imitated the, we imitated the patterns of our caretakers and inherited their life's perspectives. So y'all may need to shift your perspective. You're no longer a child. Like your inner child is asking to be seen. Whether your parents are still here or not, Pisces, really is, you know, it's, it's, it's really up to y'all. It's up to you. That's what I don't, you know. Y'all know what y'all want. Y'all know what y'all, y'all know what you guys feel. So either you're going to surrender to it or, and if not, your, things are going to be harder, much slower, less enthused and yeah. 
If you didn't receive the emotional support or education you needed as a child, this is your invitation to reparent yourself. Speak often to your inner child and give it the love, the freedom, the boundaries, and the self-care it should have received. Acknowledge when it's feeling hurt and affirm, I see your pain. You are loved. Now I am taking care of us. If you are feeling disconnected from your inner child, set your to-do list aside for a moment and do something just for the sake of fun. Come back to that pure innocence. Explore the world through the eyes of a child again. So you know how children, they fall, they learn how to walk, they fall, but they get back up again and they keep learning and mastering. And no matter how many times they fail, they get back up because they don't really have that judgment yet. Some of y'all need to get back into that energy. When it comes to whatever leap of faith you want to take, if it's a passion, a relationship, a lifestyle change, don't worry so much on failing and are you going to make it or is it, you know, are you know, failure is how we learn. Nobody becomes successful without failing at least a million times or a couple times or a lot of times. Somebody, you know, a lot of actors didn't really get, they have been they were rejected and, and they didn't really get on into their 40s and 50s. A lot of y'all need to get back into that innocence of some of y'all, you know, you're matured, you're really serious. You know, you, you may have, a, like I said, a lot of responsibilities. You may have kids yourself for some of you guys, but there's something about your inner child that's asking to be acknowledged because it's, it's going to be the very thing that gets you where you want to be in life as an adult, as a happy, healthy, functioning, content adult, not one that has to run away from their reality or escape their reality. Especially for those of you who don't like your living situation or you feel like you've outgrown a job, a relationship, a friendship, a marriage, outgrown the way you do things, whatever it is, you know. Action. Do think don't take things so seriously. Reconnect with joy and pleasure to continue your journey. Show affection to your inner child and take care of her needs. Do things just for fun. Y'all need to have more fun. Affirmation, I allow, myself, I allow myself to play and enjoy life. To your inner child, I am proud of you. You are loved. So, Pisces, again, back to that sacral chakra, which stores the feelings of guilt, shame, repressed emotions, trauma, inner child, healing and wounding. Definitely look at your sacral. What's the inner child for Pisces? Okay, four of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. So what do you need? What are you holding too tightly on to? What are you trying to control? Number one, Pisces, y'all need to write down, look back at your childhood. And what are and, and this is not taking digs at your parents, but look at some of the things that you wish maybe the things that could have helped you feel a little bit more seen, more loved, more valued, more appreciated. Look at where your parents fell short at. And then look at as an adult, how can you provide that for yourself and your version? And what and what does your version of that look like? And how can you make that a daily priority? Okay, what's in a child for Pisces? Yeah, the moon here, Cancer Pisces energy, the moon is the mother. We spend, what, nine to ten months incubating in darkness, in a dark, wet, damp space, I believe, which is the womb, the universe, which is the moon. The moon is the mother, the sun is the father. So what are your fears, your insecurities? What are the things that, what are the, what are the things... What insecure, write down your insecurities as an adult also and write down how and what ways did your parents contribute to that. How can you release can, how can you release the control that you have given your parents or or caretakers, teachers or whoever? What can you do to re, to relinquish their control over how you see yourself and your fears and your subconscious? Y'all have to get really detailed here. What's the four of pentacles in release? Some of y'all may have a big payout. Something could be costing somebody a lot of money. Okay. This could be like you could be eating out a lot. Something could be moving really slow. Somebody may feel like they're at a stalemate. Some of y'all could be feeling insecure financially or ungrounded or this is someone else. What's the four of pentacles in reverse?
Okay, the Seven of Wands here. Saturn and, I mean, Mars and Leo. Yeah, a lot of anxiety, a lot of back and forth, a lot of uncertainty. The best thing you guys can do at this time, Pisces, is to remain open, adaptable, and flexible. A lot of y'all are going through changes or there's just a lot of things happening right now. Or you could be feeling a lot of stuff emotionally. Some of y'all need to set better boundaries with how much of your... Some of y'all give too much of yourselves, too much of your energy. To, you may need to set better boundaries. I don't. Do y'all feel guilt and shame for setting boundaries? Do y'all feel guilt and shame for standing up for yourself, for speaking up for yourself? Were you not allowed to with the seven of wands? Was, was, was speaking up for yourself looked at as being disrespectful? That's an outdated ass belief or outdated ass way of thinking. Seven of wands. Yeah, ten of swords is here. Somebody could be trying to take, oh, so Pisces, and I don't know why I've been getting that for y'all. But the four of pentacles in reverse, that is a thief. I don't know if somebody thinks you're naive or gullible. This person may know you well. Or they know your weaknesses or your fears. They know your blind spots. Is somebody trying to take something from you, an opportunity, something financial or material? This could be like an ultimate betrayal. Somebody could be trying to... The, yeah, somebody needs to come up off something or open up about something. What's this Ten of Swords here? Gemini energy? Yeah, somebody's in their head overthinking. What's this Ten of Swords? A Nine of Wands. You don't trust someone? Moon and Sagittarius? You know, oh, somebody could be trying to come in. Somebody could be trying to come to you with some type of offer. They could be mailing you, emailing you, messaging you, calling you, or coming to your home, whatever, or saying. This could even be like a sibling, a friend, a co-worker, a manager, boss, a spouse, an ex, a child, whoever, a neighbor. You are very sus. You have your guard up against somebody. Maybe they've stolen something from you before. Maybe they told your business before. They did something that, would, that made you feel like you couldn't trust them before. This could be something to do with your work. This could be two-faced co-workers or whoever. Something here may even, whatever somebody's doing could even be illegal. Somebody could be withholding information or, or only giving you a little bit of information, not really giving you the documents you need. Or somebody here could be even try to, this could be identity theft as well. What's this um, nine of wands? Yeah, page of wands. Your inner child. Lovers in reverse, the five of wands, ace of your fertility. Please look at your sacral. And what's this page of wands? The eight of pentacles. Something about your creativity, your passions, and what you do for work. Something that you're really good at. You're highly skilled at. I don't know if somebody's trying to copy it or take your ideas. Keep your ideas to yourself. Some of y'all don't trust somebody. Eight of Pentacles. Y'all could be seeing eight, eight, eight. Mm. This person could be at a distance from you. Or be wanting to come pop up on you, visit you. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys, there is something that you're passionate about. You're very skilled at it. You could be good with your hands. Somebody could be into sports. Or you may need to move your body to help with any creative blockages. The Eight of Pentacles is like also self-mastery. So you could be mastering something about your inner child as we speak. What's the moon here? Yeah, the Ace of Swords here. So your intuition is telling you something. It's, it could be telling you to work through something or to go about something in a particular way, in a particular manner. You could be the one that needs to be strategic and methodical. This is Ace of Swords. Five of Cups in reverse, uh, Mars and Scorpio. Y'all could be lacking clarity on something. Maybe you need more information. You may need to ask more questions. Maybe hire a professional or get some type of consulting going on. Maybe you want to start a consulting business. Some of y'all could be really artistic. What's the Five of Cups in reverse? Okay, the High Priestess in reverse, Cancer Pisces.
something going to be exposed. It could be a, something to do with a Leo, a friend, or somebody in your family, or someone that you're close to. Somebody's first or last initials could be B or J. That Five of Cups in reverse, though, is like he, you're healing something. That what's this? Something you This could be emotional outbursts that somebody could be having. That what's this? High Priestess in reverse. Okay, Nine of Cups. So something about sex and fertility. Somebody can need to come out about their sexuality or something that happened to them as a child. Jupiter and Pisces. You guys may help. Who I was telling that to Cancer. So you can have Cancer in your chart. I feel like a lot was being revealed to you guys. Somebody here could be heavily into nudity, something about sex even. Somebody could be, somebody could do sex work. Sex work. What's the eight of pentacles? Okay, the hermit. Virgo. Somebody could be into sex work. I'm not going to lie. But I'm also getting somebody's like spying on somebody too. Somebody could be, look, somebody could be like trying to see what you're doing for work or what you're doing at work. This is like a nosy ass coworker or somebody that needs to just mind their business. That hermit is also shadow work. So it's definitely something about your pleasure, your sacral. I don't want to keep repeating it. Nine of Cups. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. Mars and uh, Aries. Y'all could be ha there could be a lack of focus. I, I don't I don't know if somebody needs to balance like pleasure and also with responsibilities because that could be it too. It's like either somebody somebody kind of overdoes it or underdoes it. Two of wands in reverse is somebody feeling stuck, trapped. Somebody feels like they don't have any options. Somebody could be looking for work or you need to put your work out there. What's this? What's this two of wands in reverse? The ace of cups. Yeah, something about like emotions. The star in reverse. There's a lack of vulnerability, a lack of transparency. Aquarius here. Somebody could be sick or just feeling ungrounded, really insecure within their body. A lot of y'all could be eating out too much drinking too much somebody's overindulging in something too much and it's causing it is fucking with it could be drugs alcohol sex eating somebody may even have an eating disorder or somebody could be really self-conscious about their weight how they look and two of wands in reverse can all can be something a plant like Something better. What's this Ace of Cups? Okay, Ten of Cups. Somebody here could be pregnant. That could be why somebody is moody. Mars and Pisces. Somebody could be pregnant. It's a girl. Congratulations. <laughs> For some of y'all. Ten of Cups, Mars, and Pisces. You could be seeing ten, ten, ten of ten of swords, ten of cups. Somebody's birthday could be on the tenth of March, the first, the twentieth, or the second. Something like a new love. Some of you guys are really healing your inner child. Y'all could be having these emotional outbursts. That's really your inner child that's being. Your inner child is like, hey, pay me attention. Pay me. So when you have these emotional outbursts, somebody could be having issues with their thyroid as well, their their uh, their intuition. 
hormonal imbalances as well y'all could be feeling really emotional at this time your inner child is like hey can somebody hug me can somebody laugh with me can somebody you know i'm sad right now something is triggering me you know and you may feel like wow as an adult why is this bothering me but that's your inner child that's like hey 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 something needs to be looked at and investigated i'm gonna put it like that Somebody's, somebody needs to take their emotions, take these your out the outbursts that you're having or the child around you is having or this other adult is having and look into that. Something needs to be looked into. Okay. Somebody can work with kids. Maybe you need to spend more time with your kids. Maybe your kids need more of your attention. Um... We got oneness, the crown chakra, self-realization, faith, and conduit. I am without form, without limit, beyond space, beyond time. I am in everything. Everything is in me. I am the bliss of the universe. Everywhere I am, I am existence absolute, knowledge absolute, bliss absolute. I am that. I am that. Swami Rama Tirtha message you are being invited to remember to remember your true nature and what you came here to do to fortify your faith even when nothing seems to make sense you are doing your part stop doubting keep it simple embrace your oneness yeah don't overcomplicate things pisces what makes you feel good and just do more of that when you start having these emotional outbursts and you start feeling moody out of nowhere that's your inner child saying hey hello can you pay me some attention? We've been doing a lot of adulting. Can we do something just for me? Like, I know you have responsibilities. I know you have other children outside of me, but, or other things, but hey, can somebody, look? if you don't have kids, it's like, I know you have other things going on outside of me, but can you take a look at me for a second? Can you spend some time with me for a second? I'm acting out for a reason. You're being triggered by this experience that seems really minuscule or really small for for a reason it's not for no reason hey hello your inner child is literally like hey look at me look at me look at me look at me if you have a child that's been moody or acting out or that's been having outbursts connect with that child because that you may be able to relate to that child whether they're a boy or a girl it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what age it doesn't matter especially if you've already been their age before it, it really doesn't matter Because helping that child or helping that person may be like, oh my God, I remember when I felt like that at that age. Or I remember when I, when I felt like that just last week at work, when a coworker made me feel that way. And I'm 30 something, 40 something, 50 something, 60 something. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how old we get. Our inner child is always going to be our inner child. You see her, her adult body and that little person, that's your inner child. That's always within you. It don't matter what age you get, that inner child always needs and wants to be nurtured, seen, felt, and heard. When is the last time you spend time with your inner child by yourself, one on one? There's ways to connect with our inner, you know, and play dates, right? Do something fun with somebody that, that's close to you, right? Where you guys can both engage your inner child carelessly together and just be kids again. Go to this. Who did I say this to? To Virgo, I think. Go watch Virgo. Go to the park and swing on the swings, whether you take your kids with you or not. Just maybe spend some time with kids. Babysit if you got nieces or nephews. Or if you got kids of your own, spend more time with them. Volunteer. If you got time on your hands, volunteer at a school. Something is, is, is calling for your inner child. Your inner child is like, hey, I, I keep reiterating that, but... If you're, if you're having issues with your throat, your inner child is like, hello, I need to be expressed. Hello, my feelings, I'm not being heard. I'm not being, I'm not feeling seen. Are you taking my feelings in, into consideration? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> and that's what's really the, on the other side for a lot of y'all. That inner child is like, can we go here, please, 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 please. And your adult, he was like, that's not logical. That's not a real job. That's not rational. That doesn't make sense. But your inner child is like, but we would be so happy. We would be so free. This is what you, this is what we really want. This is what we've been always wanting forever. Come on, come on, come on. You Okay, you, your adult, okay, use your adult body and adult mind to clearly take your common sense with you. Follow your heart, but take your common sense with you. 
Young, you know, you get what I'm saying? Follow your heart, but this is that that's what your adult self is for. That's what your adult self is for. Not to make all the decisions, but to you know, but but to look over, you know, okay, uh, okay, we can kind of do that. We can be flexible with that. I can adapt to that. That's a no, that's a no, that's a yes. Or we can do, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Don't be so extreme with it. Nobody's telling you to be reckless and be stupid and childish. But your inner child needs to be indulged in too as an adult. Maybe you like to skate when you were younger. Maybe you wanted to, you like to paint. Uh, maybe, you you know, you have a really thing with dogs. Go get a dog or go volunteer at a shelter. Go volunteer with some damn kids. You like to dress up. Go to co Comic Con or some a fest. Do something. Y'all know what y'all know. Uh, you are one with all that is. You are living inside a human body to have an earthly experience. Yeah, don't take none of this earthly shit too serious. <laughs> You're a, you're a human, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. Remember that. You're here to learn lessons. You're here to evolve. You're here to live out your divine purpose and your mission. Y'all need to find out what, what you have your north node in. What how, and we all have 12 houses in our birth chart. Find out your north node, see what house it's in, and look and study the sacral chakra. Those that's your homework, and write down in what ways did you did you feel ignored, or write down in what ways you felt like your emotional needs weren't met as a child, and write down in what ways as an adult where you can meet them. Okay. You may think you are separate from the outside, but you are all that you perceive. You have a divine purpose. You came here to fulfill your mission. Hello, freedom from the attachment and aversion. Your, per your personal awakening is the collective awakening. You are the sun, the moon, and the stars. Now is the time to remember. Some of y'all could be even having dreams about being in the womb again, or y'all could be having crazy ass dreams about like your childhood, or about, you could be dreaming of kids. Maybe you're pregnant, maybe you're not. Um, but you could be having dreams about kids or things like that. It's your inner child. The layer of the reality governed by the crown chakra revolves around divinity. This is our conduit for the divine will. Through our crown chakra, we can transcend the duality and reunite with the cosmos and oneness. The crown chakra can hold issues around spiritual uh, disconnection, isolation, and lack of purpose. Its energy will is located above the crown of the head and its sound is silent. Some of y'all need some more time to yourselves, more time alone, more solitude. You need to go within, spend some time. You're not lonely. Your inner, go play with your inner child. Action. Balance your crown chakra. Reinforce your commitment with your spiritual practice. Open your channel to feel the divinity within. Stay away from distractions. Be in silence. See yourself in every manifestation of the cosmos. Embrace your divine self. Affirmation. I am infinite and boundless. I am living my divine purpose. I live. I, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. Affirmation. I am infinite and boundless. I am living my divine purpose. I love in oneness. Remember, who the, some of y'all are too much. You're, you're, you're with that high priestess in reverse, but the hair will fall upright. A lot of y'all have been disconnected from your spiritual hygiene. Y'all need to maybe balance your spirituality and your practicality. Some of y'all don't believe in spirituality, while others of you hold on to it too tightly. You got to find a balance. A balance is needed. So I need to come back down on into reality and others of you need to find a way to stay grounded, stay in reality while also exploring the higher realms. Y'all got to find a way to explore spirituality without losing yourself and find a way to be practical without dismissing spirituality. Okay. What's oneness? That's why you and Virgo are sister signs, aka opposite signs. Look that up too. That's part of your homework too. Why Virgo and Pisces, opposites. What's oneness? Four of cups in reverse. Yeah, something can't be ignored anymore. Some of y'all need to meditate. Moon and Cancer with the four of cups. What else? Oneness. Okay, five of wands. So, qu quieting the external chatter. Saturn and, Le Saturn and Leo. What's the four of cups in reverse? Yeah, listening to your intuition. 
mother and fathering your son? In what ways, what in what ways would you have loved your father to parent you? In what ways would you have loved your mother to? Whether they're here or not, whether you know them or not. If you, for those of you who don't know who your parents are, use your imagination. What would you have wanted them to be like as parents, as individuals? What would you have wanted to gain? from your father as a male role and what would you have wanted to gain from your mother as a feminine role and in what ways can you give that to yourself and that will help you balance your masculine and your feminine energies too queen of cups here your intuition is calling for you to look into something examine your emotions please i beg of you queen of cups you're very intuitive your intuition is like spot on something Go watch, oh, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Moon in Aquarius. You're into, you're, you're like, something is being, so the Seven of Swords, you may need to confess something or say something, or this is somebody else. Your intuition be telling on people. <laughs> people, what's this? Somebody's emotions or feelings are catching up. Something is being exposed. Some type of injustice that needs to be spoken out on. Either you need to speak out on some type of injustice or somebody else does. Seven of Swords in reverse. It could be about a King of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, July, Cancer, July, Leo. Man or woman. Somebody's revealing. Somebody's mask is falling off. Somebody is like testing you, like to see how you, who's this king of wands in reverse? Somebody could be a thief. Somebody's a thief. Seven of cups, Venus and Scorpio. Somebody's trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes or confuse. Somebody's trying to play with your psyche, man or woman. The fuck, who's this? Gemini, Leo, and Taurus got seven, seven, seven. Moon rising or Venus. Or you're dealing with somebody that has it in their chart. That was Gemini, Leo, and Taurus with 777. Yeah. Somebody could be confused about their sexuality too, though. What's the Seven of Cups? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, uh, uh. Somebody here can also be really materialistic, egotistical, very superficial. Somebody could have, could have missed an opportunity with you or this is you that's missing an opportunity on something because something has gotten away. Somebody has, yeah, something has slipped through somebody's fingers or a crack. Something slipped through the cracks. I don't know if you started dealing with a crazy person. You're like, how the hell did they, how the hell did you get here? Unfortunately, it happens. Sometimes the crazy slip through the cracks. It could be a co-worker or somebody that, that something to do with finances, a contract. Somebody feels guilty for something. They want you to just let it go and act like it never happened. That's not going to work. Especially if they took something from you or kept something from you or if they owe you something. Somebody could be a scammer. Somebody wears a mask. Somebody here can be a player. They're a cheater. You, uh, you know something or somebody knows something. <laughs> Whether somebody's saying it or not, it's known. It's felt. Five of Wands in reverse. But somebody's trying to walk on eggshells or keep the peace, I guess. I guess somebody wants to, maybe you're married to this person or this is like a family member, a close friend, or this is an office policy or office politics. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the chariot. So I see Cancerian energy. I see you guys overcoming an obstacle. You could be leaving some bullshit behind or a person. What's the chariot? The Cancerian. I mean, the chariot is Cancerian energy. The Empress Taurus Libra. Somebody could be moving out or moving in. Somebody could be wanting to pop on somebody or see them. What's this? Who's this Empress? <laughs> Okay, King of Swords here. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Libra energy. Man or woman. This could be a January Capricorn, January Aquarius. 
King of Pentacles, April Taurus, April Aries. Somebody's coming. Somebody you're dealing with a troublemaker. Somebody, whatever somebody's plan. Somebody could be trying to use kids, family, a pregnancy, or whatever to manipulate somebody or keep somebody stuck. It's not gonna work. Somebody, somebody's gonna. It's not something's not gonna work. Somebody sees something very clearly. King and Queen of Swords. King and Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Cups. What's this? Somebody could be standing their ground, standing up for themselves, setting boundaries with somebody. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody here could be a gambler. There's a, somebody has addictions. They could have commitment issues. It's a lot. Yeah, four swords in reverse. Somebody could be sick. Or somebody's thoughts, their negativity, it manifests into illness. Somebody could be a hypochondriac. Somebody is too materialistic, though. Somebody is too rooted in, like, the material world. And this stems from somebody's childhood. Four of swords, four of cups, four of pentacles. You could be seeing four, four, four. Your comfort, your stability, your roots, home, family. Somebody could drink or smoke a lot. Oh, this is uh, four of... Uh, four of swords in reverse. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. December Capricorn, December Sag. Somebody can have like a, this could be body dysmorphia or eating disorder. I just feel like somebody doesn't really see themselves clearly. Somebody could be losing a lot of weight or gaining a lot of weight. Somebody here could be losing a lot of valuable things, clothes, homes, money, cars, their job. Something is forcing somebody to like ascend. <laughs> King of Swords. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. Somebody also needs to say something to somebody or speak up. Somebody's been trying to keep up a false appearance or do something. Somebody here could be saying that somebody's a prostitute or somebody could be judging someone for what they do for work or maybe this is what you fear. What's the three of wands in reverse is like frustration. Three of wands, somebody has to sit their ass down. Three of wands in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse. You could be seeing ten, ten, ten. Child, what the fuck is this, Pisces? I'm getting off this. The sun here. Leo energy. Some, if somebody's worried about something being exposed or them going into jail, them being stuck. Maybe somebody is stuck. Somebody here could be sick. That could be it, too. Somebody could be waking up in middle, all times of the night, throwing up or doing something. The sun here. Leo energy. Something is being exposed. And somebody's worried. Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. Somebody is just way down burden. Something can't evolve or grow and expand because somebody has to put some shit down first. There could be something going on with a mother figure at a distance. Or a man. I feel like somebody's not, some of y'all are in your empress energy. I feel like somebody's not playing around with something. Or somebody needs to get serious. Uh, definitely about finances or their career, their work or, some, or something. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be a police officer, a female police officer here. Anyways, let's get some, let's get some chakra messages. Drama, conflict and drama. So that could be... The, that could be it too. Somebody could be trying to avoid conflict and drama, lonely and misunderstood. Low self-esteem. Somebody's definitely on ground. Somebody here daydreams a lot. Somebody like needs to ground themselves. Overthinking everything. Clouded judgment. I feel like there's evidence and proof of something. Uh, being overly critical. Four of 
fear of speaking. Yeah, it's like somebody is worried about, somebody could be really shy or somebody's worried about saying something because it may cause conflict. So they're, remain, they're choosing to remain stuck and burdened. That's crazy. Somebody could be doing spell work on somebody's finances or on their mind, wearing a mask. Yeah, somebody's a fraud. Somebody's not loyal. Okay. <laughs> Controlling and manipulative. Yeah, that's what somebody is. Somebody's been trying to act like they're an empress when they're really a king of swords. This could be a whole woman that's child. A lot of shape shifting. Somebody could be popping up in your dream state, overly analytical. Codependency. Yeah, that nine of pentacles in reverse. Fear of pleasure, desire, and intimacy. Unable to express yourself. Somebody needs to come. Yeah, suppressed anger, disconnected from self and others. Let's get a few more. Unresolved guilt. Somebody feels guilty about something that they did, that they took from you, didn't give you or gave to you. I don't know. Lying and deceptive behavior. Yeah, somebody's being very emo. Somebody's being very deceptive. You could be dreaming about this. Yeah, indecisive. Maybe you don't know what to believe. Worrying about basic needs. Maybe you rely on this person. Self sabotaging. Maybe you rely on this person for like a place to stay, or y'all have business or financial ties or something. Okay, that's it. Guarded because of past hurt. Unstable and insecure. Detachment. Yeah, somebody's very unstable and insecure. Somebody here can even be like schizophrenic, closed off from the truth, suspicious and fearful. Yeah, when the when the crown, this is the problem. When you're crown chakra, when you see those people in the street who be talking to themselves and they're like, oh, they're schizophrenic. Their crown chakra is too open and their root chakra is like blocked. So this could be, you could be feeling like you're hearing things or seeing things. Y'all need to kind of get grounded. Work on your root chakra and your sacral. <laughs> Somebody needs to work on those two chakras, their root and their sacral. Somebody is, yeah. A lot of frustration. Somebody feels trapped. They feel stuck. They feel weighed down. But it's like they know what they want. They know what they need to do. But it's like it's almost like somebody can't move. Somebody's in bed all day a lot. Or I just feel like somebody's been playing on somebody. Some of y'all need to cover your head when you go to sleep. Or do some type of cleansing. Because a lot of y'all are really sensitive. Some of y'all are sensitive to psychedelics or anything like shrooms and, and all of that stuff. Y'all need to be careful with that. Something has somebody like, do do do, like somebody is just not grounded. And then for others of you, somebody is like way, somebody kind of shuns away from the spiritual realm, from stuff like the chakras and tarot. There needs to be a balance. Anyways, Pisces, this was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.